like many funny sounding fruit desserts, take slumps, beddies, or grunts, <laughs> Apple Pan Dowdy is an old school New England classic. As the great Dinah Shore once sang, Apple Pan Dowdy makes your eyes light up and your tummy say, <laughs> howdy. <laughs> It's similar to a skillet pie, but during baking, the crust is pressed into the filling so that the juices flood over the top and caramelize in the oven. I mean, how many desserts do you know that purposefully mess up the top? And that <laughs> is a process called dowdying. Now, the big question is, why did they dowdy in the beginning? Well, the answer is a lot of pie dough was very, very tough. Ah. Not as tender as we make it today. So they had to do something to actually make it edible. That's a good reason. And we're going to start with an all-butter pie crust. There's no shortening, and it's not only going to taste better, but the shortening would have made it too flaky and too tender. Mm. So I've got three tablespoons of ice water and a tablespoon of sour cream. Just gonna mix these together. Now our dry ingredients, we're gonna do all this in the food processor. We've got two thirds cup of all purpose flour, a teaspoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to let this run for just a few seconds until it's well blended. So easy in the food processor. And now I've got six tablespoons of unsalted butter, really well chilled. Now I'm gonna pulse this about six, maybe up to eight pulses until that butter is really worked in. It starts to look a little bit like sand. So far, this is just like making pie dough. Pretty much, pretty much. And I wanna show you the texture of this. There are a few pieces in here of butter about the size of large peas. So those aren't too big. Those aren't too big. They're gonna continue breaking down more as we add our sour cream mixture. So we go ahead and pour this right in. About three to six pulses should bring all this together. You can see that there's no dry flour anywhere in there. And although it looks like a scattered mess at this point, that's okay. It'll come together very quickly. I'm patting it out to about a four inch circle. And this is going to go into the fridge for at least an hour. All we need to do now is wrap it tightly in plastic. Into the fridge it goes. We have well chilled pie dough, and now it's time to roll it out. Now I did let this sit out for about five minutes on the countertop. It's gonna be much easier to roll out. And now I'm gonna roll this out to a 10 inch circle. And I'm a little bit large, so is the dough. Mm, story of my life. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and squish it in just a little bit, and there we go. We want to cut this into two and a half inch squares. The easiest way to do this is to go right down the middle, each side, and then the same this way. And it's <laughs> dowdy, so you don't have to worry about it being perfect. I'm going to go ahead and place this on here, these little pieces. Boy, it does make it a lot easier when you don't have to worry about it being perfect. <laughs> You're just cutting it into little cobbly squares. Exactly. We're going to cover these pieces, a little bit of plastic wrap, this is going to go back into the fridge just so it can chill again about 30 minutes. Pie dough still in the fridge, time to make our apple filling. Now you know our go-to for apple baking is usually Granny Smith apples. Mm -hmm. They're fine, they're just a little too sour and they retain their shape a little too much, a little too much crunch. All right. So we're going with Golden Delicious. Ooh. Lovely, lovely flavor and they have almost a buttery flavor to mm -hmm. them. So this is two and a half pounds of Golden Delicious apples. Of course we peeled and cored them. These are half inch slices, so these are gonna cook down perfectly. We've got a quarter cup of packed light brown sugar and we love the little touch of molasses that brown sugar adds. We have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, not a lot, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna toss this until it's coated with that cinnamon and mm. sugar and, do we have to cook them? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We'll eat the pie dough later. <laughs> now it's a pan dowdy, mm -hmm. so let's go over to our pan. We're using a 10 inch skillet here because we're gonna pre-cook the apples. So I've got three tablespoons of unsalted butter. It's just melting over medium heat. I'll go ahead and add mm, mm. the apple mixture. Wee, that's a full pan. That looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna put the lid on. We're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes and during that time the apples will start to soften. I'll go in there a couple of times and stir it. They'll also start giving off their juice. Now, this is three quarter cup of apple cider. Got a tablespoon of cornstarch because we want this to thicken and two teaspoons of lemon juice. We'll go ahead and whisk this all together. We're gonna go ahead and pour this 
right into our skillet. Now I just want to bring this back up to the simmer. We're going to let this simmer until that mixture starts to thicken. That's only going to take two minutes. Isn't that one of the prettiest things you've ever seen in your entire life? <laughs> it smells life? amazing. It smells like fall. It's Apple, does. cinnamon. Autumnal. <laughs> so I've slid it off heat. I'm just taking my spatula and flattening the top a little bit. We're ready to put our pie dough right on top. What I like to do is just go right around the sides. There is no rhyme or reason. I like it. Yes, me too. Messy on purpose. So now we're going to finish it off with a little egg wash. There this are. is a whole egg, beaten lightly. Just brush the top. Now we have a little cinnamon sugar, a tablespoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm. That goes right on top. This is going to go into a 400 degree oven. You'll see a lot of bubbling around the edges, some nice color on the top. It'll stay in there for 15 minutes. It is time to dowdy. Mm, if you say so. <laughs> very, very technical way to dowdy here. You take a spoon and you smush down in the middle <laughs> until some of the juices run over that center. Smushing, that's a technical term. Absolutely. You do it maybe four times around the edge. We're going to put this back in the oven. Again, it's still 400. We're going to leave that in there until you see it's really nice and caramelized on the top. That's about another 15 minutes. All right. Ooh, uh -huh. that smells good. Apple pan daddy. You can see as it bakes a second time, it kind of remends itself oh. and it puffs back up. Beautiful golden color. Of course, we cannot eat this right now. That's it's lava hot. So we're going to let this cool down 20 minutes and then we'll eat the pan dowdy. All right, 20 minutes. I think it's safe. It's downright gorgeous. Absolutely. Let's dish up a nice big portion here. I'm going to make sure that you get some of that apple and, of course, oh. some of the beautiful shingles on top and lots of really flavorful sauce, of course. May I put some ice cream on yours? Thank you. I'm going to put it right on the apples. Perfect. Oh, so it can melt right in there. Oh, that looks <laughs> I know. good. Well, something about the vanilla ice cream on the top, I mean, that's just gilding the lily. Those apples, the cinnamon. I was going to say the whole kitchen smells like cinnamon right now. Oh, that's good. Well, I love how the juices went mm. over the dough. You just can't get that with a regular pie nope. dough. And the apple texture, really, really good. I mean, they've broken down just a little bit, mm. but they're not soupy at all. Still mm. have some of their texture. I don't know about you, but my tummy is saying, what is Dinah Shore Howdy. Say? Howdy. <laughs> Your eyes are lighting up as well. <laughs> <laughs> to make this easy, old school New England apple dessert, start by making a simple pie dough. Using a food processor, cut chilled butter into all-purpose flour, then add some water along with a little sour cream. For the filling, use golden delicious apples and cook them with brown sugar in a 10-inch skillet along with some cider and cornstarch to help make the sauce. Top the apples with squares of dough, sprinkle with cinnamon sugar, and bake it right in the skillet for 30 minutes, stopping halfway through to dowdy that crust down into the juices. Serve with vanilla ice cream, and there you have it. From Cook's Country, a terrific skillet recipe for apple pan dowdy. You can get this recipe, all the recipes from this season, along with our tastings, testings, and select episodes at our website, cookscountry.com. Mmm, this is good. Cookscountry.howdy. <laughs> Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>